Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a message from your ex and see what is going on, see what they got going on. Um, see how you feel about the message and go from there. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me and got my sticks, me to have my back because I have yours. Um, I love you guys. I miss you guys. I will be on here. Um, it has been hectic for me. My computer broke. Well, I mean, something happened to it. And then i just been busy trying to catch up. I took two weeks off, and it's been a lot for me. So this is a message from your ex. Let's see what's going on, see what they got to say. Um, you know, please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, yeah. If this isn't for you, it just isn't for you. It says, I want to work things out with you. I know we are two different people, but with effort, we can com uh, complete, excuse me, complement each other. So somebody wants to try to work things out, and it says, I want to reach out to you, but you send me mixed signals. I want to be uh, certain that you want me to. So somebody is unsure because of probably the way that they treated you. Bottom of the deck, let's see. Would you mind spending the rest of your life with me? I'm convinced you're the one for me. So they are convinced that you're the one for them, but something happened in the process of that. So let me go ahead and pull from the um, Amira's Love Oracle to see what comes out. And then I'm going to pull from the Modern Day Love Tarot to see what also comes out. So they want to be with you, and they want you to spend the rest of their your life with them. Yeah, look at these cards that come out. Uh, yeah, family, fun, times. Yeah, so you guys had a good time together. It was something about what they did. They're saying that this is the true love for them and that they want family. There's some kind of soul family here. Bottom of the deck is a fair male or some type of male. Um, lighter than darker, it says. Uh, so this is a male speaking to a female. Or it could be somebody with heavy masculine energy in their chart. You know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But, you know, at some point you had to walk away. You know, I like this Meryl Street deck. This is a tarot deck um, for Meryl Street. You know, she's a fellow Cancer. So uh, this is something that, you know, all of her movies, she played in a lot of movies, very talented. But a lot of her movies had a lot of meaning in them. So I'm pulling from them. All right, this card comes out. Yeah, this was at the bottom of the deck, Eight of Wands. Some type of communication, Alice in the Palace. I have not seen this, but for some reason, I'm going to go ahead and look at the card. She's running towards you, and I thought I loved Meryl Street until I knew all of these movies that she played. So if you know what Alice in the Palace is, let me know. Um, Queen of Pentacles energy, you are the one that holds the coin. You hold the key to um, the foundation and the future of this family, and that is something that you were probably trying to um, explain to them, and now they see because basically... You probably had to remove yourself from this person, place, thing, or situation. Here's the modern-day love tarot. Um, I'll pull from this in a second, but I wanted to pull from our energy as Meryl Street. Yeah, the bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords energy. This is overthinking. This is uh, Helen Archer, um, Ironweed. I haven't seen that movie as well. And then Kate Golden, One True Thing. So if you guys know this movie, um, I will probably try to look it up. But if you know this movie, give me a little explanation um, in the comments, you know, again, I love when you guys communicate with me. I know I've been behind on communicating back with you guys. I've been trying to go through and um, heart all of the comments. But, you know, again, it all comes with communication. And I was taught to communicate no matter what through messages and everything. So I apologize for not even picking up my phone and communicating back with you guys the way I normally do. And also going live. I will go live. Um, shortly sooner than later but just give me a minute let me work on a couple of things yeah the nine of swords the anxiety here so the reason why you feel this way is because you had to become your queen of, your king of cups um, which is the one true thing you had to be the person who was the one who held the key the cup and the crown and also had to walk away or you know move forward or have some type of mu movement and now that you've done that and worked on your pinnacles and worked on yourself they want to spend the rest of their lives with you because they cause you some type of turmoil. Sophie Zawinski, Zawistowski, Sophie's Choice, I haven't seen that, but the anxiety is here, the sleepless nights, you know, the overthinking, swords, energy, you could be do dealing with the air sign. There's communication here, cups, energy as well, but at some point you had to become your own pinnacle. You had to make sure that you did what you needed to do for this energy. So let me go ahead and pull from the Nine of Swords. I'm going to not pull from. 
pull from the modern day love tarot and clarify the nine of swords eight of swords king of cups and also the eight of wands energy to see now they want to spend the life their life with you but they want to do it uh together yeah this emperor energy you were unsure and this is why it caused you anxiety when it came to this emperor this emperor thought they had you know all the pieces in, to the puzzle and they did probably when it came to business but not when it came to love and so now they're realizing that you're their true love yeah you reached the plateau this is the energy that you felt when it came to this person that's where the sleepless nights came in at you know they're out partying this person is partying and thinking they're the god's gift to green earth and that you're okay with it everybody is in their face the friends are enjoying it but you're like i'm over it i have to walk away because i'm overthinking about this you had to take a leap but you were unsure on how to do that with the full energy you know to take a leap and work on yourself and so now we're going to clarify the full energy because you know again it comes out yeah justice consequences of their actions you walked away because of the anxiety the sleepless nights and the overthinking and you know now they're trying to communicate with you and coming towards you and you're just like hmm is this gonna work you know that's the reason why you contemplate you now when it comes to this emperor type energy you know this person had to you know and thank them because the queen of pentacles is somebody who's able to you know flourish no matter the situation but the queen of pentacles like jds tarot says send strength and healing to him wherever he is i haven't checked on him in a while and um you know i've just been having my own things going on but you had to become the prime of your life and realize that the toxicity that was around you when it came to probably this true love was something that you had to walk away from so overthinking is why it took you a minute to do that you know and therefore yeah eight uh, nine of pentacles you had to nine years um and this came out of my last read the ninth the nine of pentacles came out you it took you nine years in order to walk away to become the queen of pentacles the and the reason why i say nine is each pinnacle is equivalent to a year so it might not have been nine years but it probably is the breaking point to where you're just like no i'm not dealing with this anymore i need to just go ahead and move forward so that i can be my own pinnacle and go from there and so that's just kind of how i see that energy but you know it's a hard thing to do it's a hard pill to swallow when it comes to having things having your cake and eating them too and also wanting the love of your life but again as i say to you and i might sound like a broken record but oh well you know in order to be have true love you have to love yourself a honest connection pure love and to have a, some type of soul family you have to be grateful for the times that you went through having fun events and partying and you have to keep moving forward and um, walking away from things and communicate why sometimes when it comes to the true love one true thing you know so which is kate golden again one true thing king of uh king of cups energy is um a loving compassionate and understanding person that can truly bring you the happiness and tranquility that you seek and that comes with you being the knight of swords being tough be ambitious know what you want go out right after it in a single-minded determination and that causes you to walk away and have some movement when it comes to you working on yourself eight of pentacles if you want this eight and nine it probably took you eight years to get to the point again each pinnacle is equivalent to a year it probably took you eight years to get to the point to where you start realizing that you had to communicate or to move forward with or without this person and now they're realizing that you know what you, you know i would i wouldn't mind spending the rest of my life with you it says i'm convinced you're the one for me now this might not be for you but again this is what you saw five of pentacles you saw the struggle when it came to the situation this person again could have had third-party relationships you could have been watching yourself and this is where uh lover's energy is here yeah this is where um it comes to the fact that when the five of pentacles shows its face you are looking on the outside in or looking towards the future by seeing the potential and actually you know seeing that this will not work if this person stays in this energy this and not be willing to take a leap or think that they're god's gift to green earth and that i will not get bored with the energy that they give you and so that is how i see that energy with it being at the bottom of the deck and it's easier said than done again some people don't realize what they miss until it's gone you know some people just don't realize that and so sometimes it just takes for you to have to move forward um and go from there now i'm gonna pull from the sorry let me move this um i'm gonna pull from the island time wellness cards um when it comes to do, do, do. love oracle it's the love oracle yeah so you had to move forward even though you probably didn't want to you had to move forward and now this person has a message for you so 
you know, uh, this is something that you want. The cards fell out. Hold on, let me get it. Oh, it was one card, huh? Wow. Yeah. You weren't impeccable with your words. You were afraid to um, say what you want and mean what you're saying. Nervous, uh, nervous or too nervous to ask. You out, oh, excuse me, nervous or too, too nervous to ask you out. It takes a minute. The answer is maybe second guess. So you kept get second guessing yourself in regards to what you really wanted. And now, you know, and this person probably did the same thing when it came to what you wanted as a family. And you wanted this person to be grateful for you and to get to a point to where, yeah, the screw is here. So, um, yeah, not interested, leaving quickly, in trouble, getting shafted, horizontal jagging, telling someone off. Well, yeah, we get to the point to where we start to take things personally and we start to tell people off after the shyness goes away and we get pissed off. And then it's like, you know what? I'm not interested anymore. And the way we walk away is because we see the struggle and we don't want to be a part of it. And we don't we d we start to doubt it. Separation. Yeah. And then you separate from this person. Sadness missing you thinking about you yearning unsure and of the future. And that's what this person is doing. That's the reason why they want to do this with you. Hammer, just just so done, and team awesome. So once they realize, I hit my watch on the, what is this, the camera. But once they realize that, you know what, they were hard head, hammer, right? Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, uh, repetitive, persistent, working on it. When they, Once they realize that they were trying to work on something because you m move, move forward from uh, this energy and start working on yourself instead of trying to work on the relationship and that you were just so done, mentally tapped, emotionally spent, physically drained, spirituality depleted, ready to make change. When they realized that you walked away and you weren't working on the relationship no more and you were starting to work on yourself and not worry about the struggle and the potential that you saw in this person or the true love that you saw in this person and start taking action with yourself, then now they decide they want to come back and they want to be team awesome, you know, and you're just like, mm, I don't know if I can trust you because you don't know if this emperor is ready to take the leap and if they're going to just keep you in limbo with the four of cups in the reverse, you know, so you just have to kind of see things for what it is and go from there. And it's easier said than done. It says healthy and open communication. And that's where the eight of pentacles, uh, excuse me, the eight of wands uh, energy comes out because the eight of wands is communication. This is the eight of pentacles when it comes to uh, working on working on something. So now they want to communicate and move towards you and w uh, work on a relationship here. Normally, Eight of Pentacles is you working on something. This is them working on a relationship with you because this is how you felt and they knew that. So spending time together, compatibility, and on the same page. Now they're on the same page with you, and you have to decide if you want this and you want to take a leap. It says staying in, night in your space, a moment alone, a partner in is busy, free time or mental vacation. You're on a mental vacation from this lighter than darker male or person with masculine energy and um, their charts. And so, therefore, don't take it personally. Thank them because if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't have moved forward. Yes, it sounds like repetitive, but you screwed yourself respectfully when it came to you not setting any boundaries and you not saying what you want and meaning what you say because of the shyness. You, weren't afraid, you were afraid that this person wouldn't accept you. But now moving forward, you're going to be impeccable with your words. You're not going to make the assumptions anymore. You're going to always do your best and, you know what, not take anything personally, especially when it comes to the struggle. So be impeccable with your words. Manifest your intentions. Say what you want, mean what you say. If you don't, you're going to screw yourself in the long run and then have to undo or unlearn to relearn. Basically, seeing potential in somebody is not the best thing, and that is what you did here. You saw the potential, but you, they didn't want to work together with you as a team until you walked away. Now they want to do this together. They want they want to work with you while they fix themselves and you wait on them to fix themselves in your presence. And you're like, no, no manager enemy, no manager friend, every manager teacher. You are here to teach this person a lesson. Um, and um, it doesn't work, you know. So uh, hold on one second. OK, yeah, you um, you know, you you just. You know it wouldn't work, so you had to work on yourself solo in order for, because every time this person came around, you were mesmerized with them because you know that this is your true love. But in order for you to have these nine of pentacles, which is your rewards, you and be the queen of pentacles, which is not being in the reverse toxic to yourself, 
and reaching a plateau, look at that. And also knowing whatever it is that you want, seduction of joy, tie-in, tie-in, vote for joy, tie-in. Yeah, knowing what you want, I guess that's what it is. You had to walk away. So manifest your intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be all will all be manifested through the word. Say what you want, mean what you say, but don't spew poison. Do not spew poison, you know? Hold on one second. Yeah, not you wouldn't spew the poison because whatever you spew, you turn around and it comes back to you, but it comes back the wrong way. So you have to stay in, go into hermit mode, and mentally you know, get yourself together while they worked on them. And that means send strength healing, sending strength and healing to them and then turning around and being like, you know what? No. So don't make assumptions. Again, this is you right here making assumptions that this could be us, but you plan, right? And this is you breaking your own heart. Discern the truth. Discern the truth. It says the problem with making assumptions is that we believe they are they they are the truth. We make assumptions, we misunderstand, we take it personally, then we react by sending emotional poison with one word. This creates a whole big drama for nothing because you screw yourself based upon the love that you see and the potential that you want. You want it to be like this down the line and then, but, but here's the thing, you're too shy to say what you want and mean what you say. You get, you know, you feel screwed and then the separation hap happens you realize that you're hard-headed and that you're done. But they have to realize that you are Team Awesome and move forward with that. So the struggle is real. The struggle is real. So let me go ahead and pull from the crystal deck, and then I'll go ahead and we'll let this energy go. Um, you guys, again, I really appreciate you guys for rocking with me. The Galena, I never had this one. This looks like the pyrite. Um, you know, I thank you guys for rocking with me and having my six. You know, I don't know what's going on with the algorithm, probably because I haven't been on. But even when I was on, the algorithm is crazy. So do me a favor, you know, comment in the comments and also like the video. So we have the heart chakra and the solar plex chakra. And then we have the root chakra grounding yourself. So this is the Galena. It's detoxing, grounding, and centering yourself. Your root chakra is your ability to survive, to be stable, and to ground yourself, right? So detoxing your the situation, the negativity. I am unlimited. You're going to get everything that you want, but it's in with di in divine timing. Send a perfect love to receive a perfect love. And sometimes it just doesn't happen the way that you want it to happen. You need to really understand that you need to work on yourself, not on this anymore. Stop working on, on this, the potential of this, and let this kind of work itself out. And it's easier said than done, but counseling is needed, you know? Counseling is needed. Communication is needing, needed, but movement is the first thing that is really needed. So heart chakra, solar plex chakra is the green garnet, and it's abundance, acceptance, and peace. The heart chakra is the ability to love, to be harmonious, and to forgive. Send strength and healing, period, with nothing behind it. Send strength and healing, period. Hopefully the universe understands I'm sending strength and uh, healing, period, to such and such. No reason behind it. The solar plex chakra, right? The solar plex chakra is your optimistic energy, your clarity, and your personal power. You're taking your personal power back, abundance, acceptance, and peace. You're taking your personal power back because you want peace. You're able to send strength and healing, period, to this person, place, thing, or this situation. You're sending peace to this person no matter what because I am unlimited. Um, and so this is abundance, acceptance, acceptance, and peace. It says the universe provides abundance in all aspects of my life. And that is what you need to know. The universe provides abundance in all aspects of my life. Give a perfect love to receive a perfect love. And this, if this person, place, thing, or situation isn't a perfect love, then guess what's going to happen? It's going to turn around, and the universe is going to send you, whoever your counterpart is, by divine right. Just say it the right way and be impeccable with your words and don't spew poison. So now let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.